Hello, welcome to SCLC Today. I'm so happy to be here with you again. I want to thank our producer, Mr. Rick Clear, for doing such an outstanding job. Many of you have called and many of you have sent messages saying that you really enjoying the production aspect as well as the information that we give you on this program. And I just want to thank you for that. And again, to our producer of this program, Mr. Rick Clear. And ladies and gentlemen, we got some information. We're going to always have the information because we're still dealing in Cleveland, Ohio. Many of you asked about that. Uh, yeah, Sherwin Williams still won't come to the table. They are not coming to the table. And we have gotten the politicians involved. They're afraid to come to the table and resolve this issue with us. But you know what my cliche is? Politics is never free to oppress. The oppressed must free politics. So we're here from the streets to the suites. We're going to do what we need to do. In Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio, here we come. We're going to continuous, continuously get in front of the people there and do what we can to resolve that issue. What's the issue? They have nine partners in terms of billing, which will ultimately be a billion-dollar construction erection of the home office in Cleveland, Ohio. And no construction manager is black. This is up south, ladies and gentlemen. For years, people are talking about down south. It's no difference. You're being up, out, down, all around. We have problems. We are still on the case. I wanted to remind you of that. The inception of, of SCLC, the organization itself, and its inception, we were organized in 1957. Oh, my Lord, we would be 65 years of age here at SCLC. We've been around that long, ladies and gentlemen, and we must realize that with the exception of uh, Brown versus Board of Education, 1954, all of your successes, majority of your successes, and others supported us, other organizations, other institutions, but it was SCLC that took the lead and gave us the supreme sacrifice. We lost a lot of lives, a lot of community leaders, but it was SCLC. We are the Marines. We are the Marines of the civil rights organizations. You have the Air Force, you have the Army, you have the Navy, and you have the Marines. We are the Marines. We hit the beach, and we must do what we need to do. Speaking of doing what's right and doing what you need to do, the U.S. Supreme Court shot down the opportunity to create another congressional district in the state of Alabama, my home state, in terms of doing what's right and being fair. Alabama needs, and rightfully so, should have another majority congressional black district. We need another congressional black district in the state of Alabama in drawing the lines. Every 10 years of the census report, we were not included in having that majority black district because the U.S. Supreme Court has become politicized. It should not be political in terms of the U.S. Supreme Court digging into, doing their own investigation, reading the complaints, reading other people's contemplation of why this should be done. It should not be a political act upon the part of the U.S. Supreme Court. 5-4 decision. 5-4? Were there any blacks on the U.S. Supreme Court who understood that, oh, I forgot we do have one. <laughs> and that one voted it down. Had we not had that one vote, we could have had another majority congressional black district that would represent us in Washington, D.C. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight continues. And we need to let you know that 
Valentine is coming up. SCLC has been in business for 65 years, and we were born through our organizational structure on Valentine's Day, the inception and the concept of freedom and justice and equality. What's that? New Zion Baptist Church in New Orleans. Why New Orleans? Because the leaders at that time, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Reverend uh, Dr. Abernathy, Dr. Joseph Lord, Fred Shuttleworth, all the others that was involved in the structuring and organizing of the, at that time, the Southern Leadership Conference. It was not SCLC. It was the Southern Leadership Conference, SLC. So what you need to realize is that it happened at New Zion Baptist Church in New Orleans because of the threat from the KKK. The Ku Klux Klan had threatened and potentially put out the the conveyance that they were going to bomb wherever the meeting was going to be held. They conveyed that message to the community that they were going to bomb uh, the home of uh, Reverend Abernathy, which they did over a period of time. And Reverend Fred Shuttleworth, they bombed his home in Birmingham, but it was between Montgomery and Atlanta. Then moving from Montgomery to Atlanta, the threat was still out that they were going to bomb Ebenezer Baptist Church. So that's why secretly, to a large degree, the organization structure of SCLC being born was moved to New Orleans at New Zion Baptist Church in New Orleans. You go to New Zion Baptist Church in New Orleans right now, and it would have SCLC name on there in terms of being organized at that particular institution of religious opportunities in the faith community, in the community of freedom base out of New Zion Baptist Church, New Orleans, Louisiana. Now that's Valentine's Day, but don't forget, you know that history about SCLC being organized, the inception, and the realization of being what we are today started in New Orleans at New Zion Baptist Church, but also don't forget about the candy. Have a great day. Godspeed upon you.